Hi, my name is Jess Sterling, and I'm with Hogan Uh I'm going to be showing you an outside and inside lock, or a pocket so under a key. Uh, the first thing before we get into it, one thing you need to know is everything we've done up to this point has been a defensive hip, which means your body goes from being closed to being open. Closed, open. So the main difference, which is why it's a bit of more, it's a bit of a more advanced block, is that you're going to be from open to closed. Your body closes up as it does the block. So basically, you're here. Also, it's the opposite of inside to outside. Now you're going to go outside to inside. One thing also about when you're doing it, a good extra tool you can use is you, you can rotate your wrist, which is going to give you an extra snap in your body. So as you're here this way, you're going to push off, stepping forward into a uh, um, front stance, but stepping forward though, and your body's going to open up. So you're going to step, you're going to kind of bend this leg, push off it, getting very low. This hand's going to be kind of by your ear, pushing off, standing well, and snapping your wrist with your head. So here, this way, like that. That's an outside to inside block. Um, so it's a really powerful block. Like I say, your body goes from being open to being closed. Um, one way you can remember, because the stepping's a little confusing, it can be a little bit different, is think of it like you're kicking a soccer ball. Uh, with your with the side of your foot like that. So notice my foot as I push off, hitting the soccer ball, stepping through that way. So again with that step you're here, pushing off, stepping forward. So again one last time, the entire thing here, it's like this. Chill! And from the side. Thank you for watching. That was a uh, outside to inside block or pake so on Romaki.